rolling, Dean. Okay, we're rolling. You're on the right. internet. So this is Daisy standalone at Gamescom. We're actually playing it online now with a couple of the forum mods. Um, so because of the way the internet works in this business booth, we couldn't join in with everyone else downstairs doing the land. So this has to be the the full the full deal. So. Uh, I guess some of the big improvements have been in usability, so it's a lot easier now to open the containers and uh, it actually remembers the states of the containers when you go out. Uh, this is an example here of the first aid kit, you can actually open it and see what's inside. Uh, so I'll get out a couple of bandages, I'll get out, um, get out some stuff here. Um, all this stuff, close that up. and. Uh, you have here, this is, um, so you can see some, some rifle rounds, they come in little cardboard packages. So I can actually empty those out. And uh, it's very influenced by like Jagged Alliance, uh, Fallout, stuff like that. So I can actually uh, transfer a maximum into, into different slots. And uh, I actually want to load up a magazine, so I'm going to load a magazine. And we get a lot of context sensitive, uh, roguelike, feedback uh, feedback there so I'm going to add that magazine back to the web just I guess to um, to add the caveat this is a very much a pre-alpha so um, uh, yeah it's <laughs> it's potentially quite buggy so what I'm going to do here is demonstrate uh, how I'm using something on another player so you can see here I've actually put the blood bag into my hand. Uh, we obviously hasn't got it positioned correct, right? And I'm actually going to um, get some blood from uh, from Quantum here. And he will actually, oh, from Snow, he will actually see a message on his screen saying, um, Rocket uh, Two Guns is, is trying to take blood from you. So I'm actually successfully taken blood. There is a bug, unfortunately, where the damage effects are applied to my character. But just imagine for a moment that that's not how it works. So then I can actually uh, take, you can see here, this is a, a blood bag, uh, but it's not combined with an IV kit. So I can take a new IV kit and I can craft it onto the blood bag. And you can see now that the blood bag has an IV cable with it. I can then put that in my hands. Uh, where are we? Is it in my hands? We don't have an animation for it, so it's very difficult to tell if it's in your hands. So you can see now that the blood trend, the blood bag is in my hands here, uh, there, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to him. I'm sorry, sometimes we get lost in it. It's just so large. Uh, now he's walked away. As long as he doesn't walk too far away, it'll still walk. If if he walked too far away, uh, it would fail and, and it would come up with a message saying it's failed. So I've successfully given him a blood transfusion. Unfortunately, the effects were applied to myself. But you can see now the blood bag's gone. Uh, the same thing applies with things like syringes. So I can actually use a syringe here on him and collect a blood sample. Um, <laughs> Snow's saying it works. Yeah, it kind of works. Uh, yeah. Can I can I swear on your yeah, camera, you Sam? Can do yeah. you so the build, the build we showed at E3 was fucked. This is less fucked. So I hope people appreciate that it, it is looking a bit less fucked. So same with uh, bandaging. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to shoot him here. So you can see now if if he walks around, he's in injured state. And, He's got some blood pouring out of the exact spot I shot him in the leg. Um, let's shoot him in the head. Um, I've got damage at the moment turned off for this one. Um, but uh, tomorrow in the Reddit videos you'll see the proper damage actually appears where the items actually take damage themselves and uh, and things like that. But you can see the, the blood is pouring from the, from the same spot. Um, I'll just tell him you need to reconnect. Yeah. Um, yeah, so let's 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 head in, and uh, I can show you a bit around Chernerus. So the other players have been in and killed most of the zombies in and around the area. Um, some things that people will be happy to see is changing the weapon while you're moving. You can see there's still a little bit of animation to be tidied up there. Um, Let's go show, there's a big old bus there. Uh, this is Starry Sobor, so you can see that it, it looks way, way, way different from how it used to look. Like there's been a lot of effort that Senshi and Ivan have put in to making it look, you know, really 
authentic and interesting and beautiful. Uh, been a bit of work done, but only very placeholder on the sounds, so you can hear uh, the new supersonic crack and uh, the pop. So there's still a little bit to be done with it, but it's just these little improvements that we're slowly bringing in. Just to emphasize, none of this stuff is what is delaying us from releasing the alpha. That's all to do with multiplayer performance, this network bubble people, you hear people keep talking about. So we'll go around and see if we can find some loot. Um, I really want to find something so I can show you crafting. People have been already all through these buildings, unfortunately. Uh, I guess we'll show people how, how to drink. So I've got this item here, same deal. I can either I could either directly interact from here, but I want to show people more about how you can interact with stuff in your hands. So if I selected it from there, it would place it in my hands anyway. So you can see it's in my hands here, in my hand. And uh, I can actually uh, drink it while it's in my hands. And it will use up a portion of the bottle. You can see here, and I'm getting this roguelike feedback now that gives me insight into where it's at. One thing I am thinking about is uh, people who play Project Zomboid, very cool game. They provide you little moodlets, and I'm just worried that we're not providing enough information. We don't want to clutter up the UI any more than it is now, so we're thinking about putting some kind of little moodlets maybe in here. It's still a, we don't know, we, we might do it. Uh, but let's go through, is there anything under the beds? Just while uh, it's sort of a hot topic is, um, uh, first and third person. We do have some ideas about it, maybe uh, context sensitive restrictions on third person, so say no third person and uh, prone and stuff like that. Oh, hold on. I'm just going to ask this guy to shoot at us near in the distance so people can maybe hear the, the rifle cracks. So you can see there's a lot more loot uh, I've obviously increased it a great deal for a Gamescom because we wanted people only sort of have a few minutes so we really wanted them to find stuff. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the uh, uh, water bottle on my hands and I can actually fill from uh, fill the water bottle from this here um, and, uh, and, and fill it up. So you can see there I got the water bottle out, I put the top on it and that kind of stuff. And I can actually use the uh, water purification tablets to, to purify the water as well. I don't know what the hell that guy's doing. Go! Whoever this is. You're famous. Yeah. It would help if I was... Um, uh, I don't think they're going to do it. You can never trust the randoms you meet in Turneris. So yeah, you can see my stomach grumbles here, so I really want to find some food. Um, I think, did I show? No, I didn't. Okay, so there's a lot more interaction with the world now as well. So I can actually uh, uh, close and open when I'm looking for, for items. Obviously, that, this stuff's all been looted, so people have already been in here before. Um, you can hear some, some better uh, rifle cracks now. Keep going, dude. This is your moment. I guess not. Not today. Um, yeah, so that's, that's uh, pretty much the long and short of it. There's probably a lot of stuff that I've that I've missed, but hopefully, what this shows people is that there's uh, you know there's been some real progress, and uh, you know we're getting there. Everybody wants to know when it's actually going to be released. Am I actually putting that in? That's better. Um, when it's going to be released and. The, the key is that we're waiting for this network bubble to occur. And once that occurs, uh, we're, we're good to go. And we, st we still don't have a time frame for that. And people already know, I'm using the space bar here with the action menu. It's a very hot topic. We've still got a lot of work to do with the action menu, but I think it's greatly improved um, from what it was before. So I've got my little friend here. I, I could just light him up and fire rounds into him, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to eat something. I'm eating it while I've got another thing in my hand. Yay, for Alpha! Um, what else can I show? So the interactions with the, um, with the attachments, you can see the attachments, it all gets done live in real time. See it's on the ground there and if I put it back on, you can see it's actually getting added all live in real time. And um, We've put a lot of work into, into the model itself, I'll go outside. 
There's a whole bunch of different variations. We just want to tidy up the M4 first uh, before we uh, before we do other weapons. So hopefully players can see there. It's you know we put a lot of effort into trying to make this as as nice as, as nice as we can. Yeah. Thanks everyone.